Being able to personalize fashion would be dope. You mean in the DLC, yeah? In Monster Hunter, th this is something called Transmog. A mod that allows you to hot swap your appearance with any armor of your choice. It essentially means that you are rocking certain armor, but visually it looks like, like you are rocking something else. I have seen uh, one of the videos of, of my viewers. Let me actually find it. This person over here is rocking very pretty armor set. To be honest, I didn't check it, but I am pretty sure this pretty looking armor set has probably like solid poise of fucking 20. I would love to use it, but I am not fucking crazy and I play video game instead of being offended on the base game mechanics. And this is what poise is. Poise is the fundamental base game mechanics that is balancing stuff around. Without poise, it is like you would be playing without fundamental game mechanic. It is not Dark Souls 3 anymore. Even in Dark Souls 3, like, poise was very important. I would love to rock set like that. It's, it, it, it's looking pretty. It is very cool, but you just cannot in this game. If you want to play PvP, stand the chance against a certain level of shittery. Ultimately, you don't want to get frustrated by the fact that you are kind of handicapping yourself then yeah you kind of have to look into very limited amount of the sets yeah it's for the sake of optimal armor sets you could say like anything above this row yeah up there is basically useless you can use only the heaviest armor sets because both defensive and poise allowing abilities are just too strong this is why we need well balanced and viable light roll what you mean cinnamon the current light roll is fantastic is there something wrong with current light roll you cannot have too much poise if you are light rolling think about it no but light roll is a completely different topic when it comes to dlc oncoming dlc we really need a transmog this game has shit tons of the fashionable choices that are just impossible to use if you don't want to commit the build suicide, you just cannot use any of these like cool looking fashionable sets. Transmog is needed. The problem with the transmog is the fact that if you're going to have something like transmog, then what about poise calculations? Yeah, uh, looking at someone's set and calculating the amount of poise they have on the fly is very important, considering the fact that passive, fo passive poise is also a very important part of the game. The answer to is, to be honest, poise just can't be displayed. Either in the form of the bar below your HP, and this is, you know, you know what, this is something like uh, they had in Sekiro, I think it would be look nicely aesthetically and you could still, even though that wouldn't be like information about direct number that you are rocking, if you would phantom hit or hit someone direct, if you are experienced enough, you are going to know exactly how much poise damage you dealt in correlation to the ammo of the uh, poise bar that just depleted. You won't be able to immediately tell how much poise your opponent has, but after like a, even one throw of like a fan dagger or something like that, you're probably going to know. So I think like the idea of having like a poise bar below the HP bar is probably okay. It is it is decent. I, I think it is good. Let's make it clear, I still make myself the sacrifices for the sake of uh, of my looks, yeah? I am not fully optimizing my sets only for the sake of to, to have a good stats, yeah? Counting up, like, your, your stats is important thing, and I pay some attention to it. Way more, in fact, that I would want to because of the way how the game is at the given moment. Just boost Bullgoat Talisman for low poise players. That might be also somewhat of the solution. What if, like, Bullgoat Talisman would work in the both ways? Maybe we need, like, separate Talisman, or maybe, like, a Bullgoat Talisman has to start working differently. So it also benefits like very low ammo of the poise values. So maybe that would be like a kind of a way of balancing things around. Yeah, it's if Bullgoat would give you poise for free if you have low enough ammo of the poise and also would increase it if you would like be poise stacking and only like wouldn't do much in, on the certain like a threshold that would be considered as essentially the most healthy for the PvP, then Bullgoat could be decent. To be honest, I still would prefer if we just simply would have transmog. Because yeah, this is a lot of the looking for some sort of the workarounds that are not fucking very good from the statistical point of view. 
Build making is very important in this game, and you just cannot skip it unless, yet again, you want to sabotage your own uh, build, yeah? And that's what a lot of people do. But yeah, it's it's just stupid. People that just like go full fashion and they completely discredit any idea of optimizing the build for the sake of defenses, poise, and so on. Uh, they are putting themselves on such a huge disadvantage that I'm pretty sure they have like a huge problem improving on the game because they do not have enough uptime fighting against people that have optimized builds, which overall makes the average player on the game literally worse. Just make the Bullgoat Talisman with fixed values. Okay, listen. Bullgoat Talisman with fixed values have its problems. It's related to the fact that it takes the slot out of your uh, a Talisman slots. You do not want to use the Bullgoat Talisman like literally every, like all the time, yeah? The op having optimal builds surrounded around Bulgot Talisman being like requirement to be there all the fucking time closes like plenty of possibilities like for example the triple buffing type of builds yeah like if you want to keep fashion and you want to have poise then yeah then you just cannot do that anymore and on top of that uh, the another issue is that like uh, there is plenty of sets plenty of for example huts that gives you um, some sort of the benefits, yeah? They give you the statistical advantages and you want to utilize them. You want to use them, but they might just not fit, like, visually. They might impact the fashion negatively, yeah? Like, I mean, dude, the perfect example, like, this hat that I am currently using, it's useless from the statistical point of view. It is... It doesn't have, like, a good poise, doesn't have that good stats. And, yeah, it gives me arcane. It gives me four arcane. It's... Uh, arcane is a stat that I do not use. If I could use different hat and keep the albinuric mask uh, only visually on my head, then yeah, that would be just way better for me. Because I could instead use the mask for the sake of to increase my uh, dexterity, yeah? Ah, yeah, right, and on top of everything, this, the albinuric mask literally negatively affects your heals. And that's why, yet again, I really do not see the other option but transmog. Just let us wear things for the aesthetical purposes and let us keep the stats that are very important in this game. Hey, this is this is action RPG, like more dependent on the stats than even other Souls games. Even though every single of the Souls games have like a huge stats dependency. It's just only normal that you're supposed to go for decent stats. But we at the same time we could have both. Pretty characters and stats. Look at this gamer, yeah? I am poise breaking him with every single uh, single R1. And, like, this attack is insanely good. Like, the R1s on the 100 Nagakiba, they have super fast and good follow-ups. They are catching the rolls. They are fucking great. That's why you need poise to balance this shit out. Like, the poise is actually balancing Nagakibas. If this game didn't have passive poise whatsoever, then Nagakibas, 100 Nagakibas, they would be, in fact, like, insane. This, this moveset is just great. So, yeah, that's why you need poise. 